Hi, so welcome to this video. So today I'm going to teach you how to work out the EMF or the E0 of the cell. So how many volts are being produced from the reaction? So we're going to look at copper and zinc when they're together. So when we get this information, we're looking at the reduction potential for these individual half equations. And when we put them together, we don't need to change them in any way. We can just look up the value from the charts or the information that you're given, um, or there will be an appendix in the textbook that you're looking at that will have these values in there. So the general way of doing it is the total E0 uh, or EMF of the system or the cell would be the E0 for the reduction of the cathode minus the E0 of the reduction of the anode. And we don't need to do anything more than just picking out those values and putting them together. So when we're looking at zinc and copper, so the zinc is the oxidation which is the cathode, uh, the anode, sorry. And the copper is the reduction, which is the cathode. So the more positive the E0 of the reduction, the more it's able to act as the cathode and do the reduction reaction. And the more lower down, the more negative, it's the opposite. So it would be the oxidation or the anode. So if we put these ones together, the cathode is the copper, so 0.34 minus this one here, so minus 0.76, which would give us 1.1 uh, volts for that system. So if we were drawing out our diagram, so showing the anode, the cathode, the flow of those electrons, the salt bridge, we can put that 1.1 volts right up the top where the electrons are being transferred between the anode, uh, the anode to the cathode. So we might try another example. Let me write one up. So with this example here, we have our equation written out and we are given our two half reactions that make up that uh, reaction there. So with those half reactions, we're giving the E0 of the reduction potential. So looking at these two, looking at the way that they're existing up here, so whether or not they're being oxidized or being reduced, so we've got aluminium going to aluminium 3 plus. So this is the reduction. Uh, sorry, so this is the, so we're loss of electrons. So this is oxidation is loss. So we've got the electrons being lost in that one. And reduction is the gain of electrons, so this is my reduction. So then remembering which one's the cathode and which one's the anode. So the cathode is the reduction and the anode is the oxidation. So now we can just take these values and put it straight into the equation. So the E0 of the reduction, so that would be the I2, so it's 0.54 minus the anode, which is the oxidation, so it's negative 1.66. So putting that into my calculator, and I get plus 2.20 volts. So because the EMF of the cell is positive, then it would be a spontaneous process. And that's it for this little video.